I've left the box to dry um, I've just cleaned the pins flush it wasn't much to take off so yeah I've just cleaned them flush and just lightly sanded it um, the next step is to cut it in half <laughs> and what I mean in half not quite in half so I'm gonna cut it right in the center of the second pin um, because I'm going for a chest type feel for this box so it's going to have quite a chunky lid on there I don't know if you can see so I've got four pins and then we'll go in between I'm going to do this on the bandsaw it's going to be a proper test I'm a little bit nervous um, because if at this stage it goes wrong um, <laughs> yeah, I don't fancy starting the box all over but again we'll give it a go um, once we've done that on the bandsaw I'll then uh, sand the lid and the box flush together so it sits nice because um, I imagine it'll be a little bit wonky but I think I prefer to do it on the bandsaw than I would the table saw just because the blade on the bandsaw sorry I sound a little bit full up <laughs> um, the blade on the bandsaw is a lot thinner so I keep the material and I keep the continuity of the grain. One moment, I'm gonna have to get... <sighs> I've lost train of thought. Oh my god. This is what happens when you get food poisoning. So I've just finished up the lid. Uh, and the base, the section point is there, it's quite seamless so hopefully over time that will look quite nice I might even put a shadow gap, I'm not sure So I've got my two long pieces and what I'm going to do is cut this down to the box size and then we can uh, fine tune the fit with a hand plane when needed. I changed my mind and I went for ash along the length and oak sides to contrast the outside of the box. Um, but I've got the pieces fitting nicely, there's no movement on the inside, but they slide in and out nicely so there's not much wiggle room side to side which is what we want and then it drops straight in which means I might be able to go for a piston fit but we'll see for the trays on the inside of this box. This jig that I'm using um, is a mitre shooting board for inside and outside mitres. Yeah, if you want to know how to make one of these, drop the link in the description. Um, you can see how I made this. It's really simple and really quick if you're interested. But for this video, we've got our pieces on the inside of here. Okay, so let's go with this one first. Definitely have an arm workout. <laughs> As you can see, getting really good shavings. So even though this might seem like it takes a long time, it really doesn't once you get going. By the time I'd set up a jig on the um, table saw and everything, this is just more accurate. Really fine tuning it. And I'm burning calories at the same time. Show you how they come together in the box. Okay, so I've got the inside tray fitted. As you can see, you can really fine tune the fit. When I pull the tray, everything moves with 
like in unison together which means I've got a really nice fit in there um, so I think I'm going to leave it as is and then glue it together put the panel in and um, once that's dry then we can like sand it down and get a nice fit in there we may even get a piston fit I'm not sure but if this goes wrong we'll just have to make another tray no big deal <laughs> So I've taped up the box, I've cleared as much squeeze out as I can and I've just rested the ends within the box so it takes a shape and hopefully that'll help and minimise the fitting that we have to do once it's dry. Now that both trays are drying, uh, I'm going to go back and work on the stand. Um, we previously cut out the vertical legs I guess on the bandsaw so we'll take one now get it to final shape and then we can use that as our guide for the rest of them I'm also going to be taking a spoke shape to these to shape them okay I've finally got everything done um, I've got them to be as symmetrical as I can obviously this is by hand so <laughs> um, there's going to be slight differences, but I'm happy with the spoke shave work currently. I've got my fence set up on you so it gets centre every single time. And then I've offset my piece so that it doesn't, uh, so it sits off the workbench. This will line up. These are the same thickness so I can reference off both of them, which makes it safe then to put a domino in this little piece. Just got all the holes drilled. There's bound to be some sort of movement. It still goes in, just not as smoothly. So I'm going to take off the high spots for the planes. I've got just a little board with notches cut out so I can one, put that in there and plane. And I can also flip it this way and plane. So I'm going to keep fine tuning this until they all fit and then we can look to put some finish on and add that hard way. And this is how it fits now. You can hear the air come out, that's without finish of course and without sanding. Now that we've got the trays fitted, I've wiped everything down, this is already sanded now. So. Um, the next thing to do is to put the dividers. Um, what I'm going to do is have one fixed across the centres using uh, this piece of ash that we milled in the beginning of the video. Um, and then there'll be loose dividers on either side. Same for this tray. glue it in place, I'm going to clamp it, temporarily leave it for like, I don't know, 
20 minutes or so and then I'm going to come in with the drill, drill some holes and put some small little dowels or skewers in there um, probably a couple down and I'll do the same then for this tray. So as you can see, these are removable, just in case they don't want to use those. They can take the crosshairs out, but then this is permanent to keep the rigidity of the box and also when you're pulling the box you can use the centre divider as your pull. So, yeah, just going to line the bottom of the box as well. This is the lining we're going to be putting in the bottoms of the trays. I don't know if I press record then, but I've put the glue down and I'm pushing all the corners of this in, so that's how it looks. So we're just going to fit the hinges now that I'm going to be using the solid brass hinges. I've got a fence set up, I've got my depth set up. So I've set my marking gauge so I can Mark how far to go with the router. So my star bond going for the black again because I liked that last time. Let's put my maker's coin in there. I've always wanted to get Starbond and I never did. One thing I know is that I won't be uh, buying any other super glue because this stuff is great. Even for like my coin now I can fill the voids and then that will turn them black. I do wonder if they have any other colours. That might be quite cool. But... A white might be really cool. I don't even know if that's possible, but it would be cool. So let that set and I'll sand it off and then we'll be done. Okay, that was the last step, putting the uh, Maker Coin in there. I'm just going to put some finish on this. Just wiping it on, wiping it off, it's just a um, oil wax finish, so I'll show you some finished shots now and that'll be it for this video. Just give you a run through, obviously dovetails on the um, box itself, then we've got brass pins, um, an oak stand, the fronts of the box are oak, and then we've got ash for the sides and along the um, circumference, so like the the lid and the bottom, brass um, hinges as well, obviously that's the lid and then we've got Harris tweed on the inside, these crosshairs are um, removable, so that's the top tray but they can go in either way and then this is the bottom tray Again, these are removable and the centre one stays because that's what you use to pull the tray out and then Harris Tweed in the bottom as well and then obviously the box is just empty as is. 
and I'm really chuffed with the fit of these trays. I can't believe this them fit. It's a little bit wobbly, could be tighter, but I was a bit too nervous to do it any tighter, so same for this tray. And then closed. Um, one thing I have noticed is this does slide on you. I probably shouldn't have waxed <laughs> the bottom, uh, the underneath of the box and the stand, so um, I will have to discuss that with the customer. Maybe we could put some um, Harris tweed on the surface of this but I won't do that just yet I might ask her when she comes and that can be an additional thing that we do um, afterwards so yeah that's the rundown of the box really chuffed with it um, I also left some shadow gaps in the top of the lid as you can see these come out really nice and then you can hear the air See if I can get this for you. I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and subscribe to see more if you haven't already and that's about it guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next project bye